السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ان لیکچر 16 اوکے اینڈ ناؤ ان لیکچر 16 وی ول بیسیکلی ڈٹرمائن دا کٹ اف پوائنٹس فار نیگیٹو مومنٹ اوکے سو ان فرسٹ سٹیپ اف دیٹ ایگزامپل وی ڈٹرمائن دا کٹ اف پوائنٹس فار فارورڈ فار پازیٹو مومنٹس اینڈ یو سی دیٹ دوز پوائنٹس ار جی ڈیش ایف ڈیش and there is no cut-off point, okay? You need to extend all these bars, clear? So, basically, now we are dealing with negative moments, okay? The same process will be adopted, okay? You just need to shuffle the, uh, the, the loading because in that case, this live load is there and that dead load is there. Now, dead load is there and live load is there. So, I did this example in safe. You see that how those things uh, varies, okay? So in this case, you see that the maximum shear lies at the support, that is 45.8 inches, okay? And the maximum negative movement will be 275 kips, okay? Now, as already we mentioned that we will cut up two bars, two number eight bars, and that give you then a movement capacity upon 76 kips, okay? So, basically, here, as the maximum negative movement that is 275 okay so you write that equation okay you compare that movement with this value okay you will get x so this is not possible ignore this value clear and you will adopt this 18.3 foot from a so your first cutoff point will be at a distance of 18.3 foot from a clear so Therefore, the theoretical flexure cutoff point for two number eight bar stop bars in span AB is 18.3 foot from A. Finally, between B and C. Now, they basically gives names to the uh, to, to those points. They are, they are, they are, they are the points. Okay. So, you see that this J and K are theoretical cutoff points. And similarly, L will be the next point, clear? So, basically, this is the another equation, okay? This is the another equation for span BC, okay? Now, there is also, because if you, if you mark 176, you know, so 176 will be there, as well as 176 will be there, okay? So, in between B and C, one cutoff point, and in between B and A, there is one cutoff point. So, this cutoff point lies a distance of 18.3 inches, and you need to write in another equation for this BC portion. Clear? You need here two equations. One equation is basically from, okay, for negative case, you need two equations. Clear? One is this one for this portion, and one for this portion. Clear? So, this is simply supported being case, clear, having a UDL which is, you know, which is 0 0.42 and this is support and there is live load that is 3.82, okay, 3.82. So, you, you need to write because the movement equation is some, 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 somewhat like this, clear. The moment equation is somewhat like this. So, this, there is the maximum value, clear? That is 1,275, clear? So, if you cut at the negative uh, reinforcement zone, okay? So, it comes out to be 176, clear? If you cut two number at bars, and two number nine bars will be continued, it will give you 176 movement capacity. So, the, so you write an equation at a distance of x, that equation will be as this is this reaction, you will determine this reaction, okay. And similarly, uh, write an equation m u will be equals to 3.82 into x square divided by so compare this with 176 okay and just determine the this x value clear so this x value from this equation will be here okay that determine it 
that determine it that it comes out to be 9.6 foot from C from free end and that value which is written that equation that will be lies at a distance of 18.34 so this means that this diagram if I snap it okay you see that this point which is right there lies at a distance of 18.3 inches and similarly this is the another cutoff point that lies from the free end at a distance of 9.6 so what you did you you write two equation one equation for this portion and one equation for this portion and you must know that there is this reaction is opposite okay this is downward and this reaction is upward clear so basically you write uh, two equations there so the locations of these two cutoff points are determined and you know those cutoff points are denoted by you know there are therefore and another you know there are there are four cutoff points okay four cutoff points the one is h the one is j the one is k the one is l okay so these four are the cutoff points. Okay, there, there is the pleasure cutoff points for negative moment steel are shown in figure this, and they are designated by J, H, J, K, M. Now, first of all, compute development length for the top parts. Now they are computing the development for the top part. So same formula will be used, but the factor will be changed 1.3. Right? So for number add bar, it will be 71. And for number 9 bar, it will be 80.3. Okay, so only the case will be changed. There is top reinforcement and there positive region there will be bottom reinforcement. You see that this point J, okay, as this is the first theoretical point and this is the first second theoretical point, we determine that this theoretical point from the equation, it lies a distance of 18.26. And this theoretical point lies at a distance of 9.60 from this from equation okay we determine these two values okay now how much this distance will be okay. 2.4 feet from where it comes okay it is comes out from the support support center because from the center of the support the free end of the beam is lying at a distance of uh, lying at a distance of 12 feet so just only subtract 12 feet from 9.6 you will get 2.40 and similarly the center of the support lies a distance of 25 feet. So subtract 18.26 from 25 feet, you will get this distance. Clear? You will get because the, the total distance up to this point you know, from the center of this A point or from the support center is 25 feet. So subtract some, uh, this this distance basically. Basically, you just subtract that point, you will get that because you know this is the support center line, this is the support center line, and this is point J. Clear? So, this is point J. Point J lies a distance of 18 point something distance, clear? And the distance between the two points is 25 feet. So, how much this distance will be? Clear? This distance now quite simple. Just only subtract 18 from this value, you will get this. So 6.74. Now these are just only the location. Now we will find out uh, the actual cutoff point of J, actual cutoff point of K, actual cutoff point of L, actual cutoff point of H. Clear? So locate the actual cutoff points for the negative moment reinforcement. Again, the inner cutoff points will be considered first because their location affects the design of the other cutoff points, outer cutoff points. The choice of the actual cutoff points is illustrated in figure 833. Okay, you just need to find out first these interior cutoff points because it will affect the outer cutoff points. Okay, so first of all, they're locating J point. Clear at J, uh, these are upper bars, you must know these are top bars. Clear so basically, here you can see that. Uh, uh, J dash must be extended away from the support. This is negative reinforcement. So you go away from the support, not toward the support. For a distance of 12 dB, 
or a dv or ln divided by 16 what whatever the greater value will be that will be you know this is the controlling criteria 1.79 so just add up uh, 6.74 add 1.79 it give you the actual cutoff point j, j dash okay this is j and this is j dash prep so now its total distance comes out from the support center just add 1.79 with this comings out to be at 4 6 inches which is greater than ld if you check the development length of number 8 bar that comes out to be uh, 71.2 inches and add put add put 6 inches is more than 71 inches clear so this is clear okay now uh, for shear and for other anchorage of the negative movement steel the bar must extend only from the you know this bar basically these cut up bars this means that j dash must be lies at a distance of okay this is the maximum point so j dash must be lies at a distance of ld clear this distance must be ld and this criteria is satisfied because this is 71 inches and that comes out to be at 46 inches which is more than this 71 inches clear so increase criteria is now satisfied clear okay okay cut off two number add bars at add feet six inches from the okay that is the dash now the location of h okay h is the this point clear so actually this is h now we extend it towards the support for a distance of six inches into the support okay so h two number nine bars and the development length for this bars is i think so 80 inches okay so increase criteria is satisfied that don't you don't need to worry about that criteria okay that is 80.3 inches length available 17 feet is available no this h is basically you know from j dash basically we see that this h distance is measured from the actual theoretical point okay from the actual theoretical point okay so from actual theoretical point h lies at a distance of you know uh, 17 feet okay so and your uh, development length is 18.3 inches so 17 feet is more than 80 inches so your anchorage criteria for h is also satisfied okay uh, extend two number nine bars to two inches from the end of the beam and you must know that uh, uh, that you know this h h dash h dash point will be two inches inside from the point because this two inches is left out for the uh, hook side criteria okay you know that is the extension or tail cover okay so you need this cover okay this may be 3 inch, 2 inches, 2.5 inches, it must be, okay. Uh, and this 17 feet is greater than early, clear? And it is measured from the actual cutoff point, you must remember, okay. Not from this center point, okay. Because the two bars are cut there and uh, it must extend it to a distance of LD. okay. Now, the next point that is uh where is h is clear okay so now it is a cut up point k okay k is this one okay so this k is lies the distance of 2.40 you first of all need to extend it away from the from this support for a distance of 12 db or db or ln by 16 so at 1.79 with this distance gives you how much distance dash look first of all it extend for 1.79 okay comes out to be 4.19 foot clear so it lies a distance of 4 feet 3 inches now you check it for increase criteria increase criteria means that whether the distance of k dash whether the distance of k dash okay this k dash you know you must know that
you must know that the distance of k dash this distance where you cut the negative bar from the center must must extend for a distance of ld now we check it as ld for two number add bar i think it is equals to uh, you know it is it must be equals to uh, 71 inches it must be equals to 71 inches mm -hmm. that that it will be extended for 4 feet 3 inches and your early for number add part is 71 inches the extension of 4 feet 3 inches is just not enough try extending okay what I say what I want to say that this k dash must extend for a distance of now if you add 1.79 okay 1.79 with this distance 2.40 it gives it gives you four feet three inches, okay, which is less than LD. LD is seventy one inches, okay. Now you need to extend this K point for a distance of LD, for a distance of LD, okay. Then you get the K dash point, and there they did that calculation. This is K dash. Yeah. This is K dash. It lies a distance of LD. Okay, so that is six feet, which is greater than LD. Okay, so where this is okay, 71.2 inches. The extension of four feet three inches was not enough. Try extending the number at top bar six feet past B to point K dash. Okay, so. Therefore, cut up two at bar six feet from B. Note that this is changed in the next step. Okay, let's see. Cut up L. Now the last point. Okay, that is that lies at the pre end. As two number nine bars are cut up. Okay, two number nine bars are cut up at this point. Okay, there are two number nine bars are cut up because. Two number eight bars are cut off at K dash and two number nine bars are extended. Now we will check that with the two number nine bars giving the the desire the desired design capacity movement capacity or not. So you know this distance must be equal to LD. Okay, this distance must be equal to LD. If it is not, then we cannot cut the bars at K dash. We need to extend all the bars. Okay, so let's see check it. First of all, increase criteria means development length criteria. The bar must extend LD past K dash, which I said. Okay, these two bars must extend for a distance of LD from K dash. Now. We see that K dash lies the distance of six feet. Okay, K dash lies the distance of six feet, and total span is you know twelve feet. Okay, so from twelve feet you just subtract two inches. Okay, so two divided by twelve it gives you at eleven point eight five feet. Okay, so this available length. This available length will be right now will be equal to 8.85 minus 6 feet. It comes out to be it comes out to be 5.83. 5.83. And you know the development length for two number nine bars is 80 inches. Okay. 80 inches. And 80 inches is how much? 80 divided by 12. That is 6.66 round. That is that comes out to be 6.6 6 feet 8 inches. Now that is interesting. As the available length from K dash to L dash is 5.83, and the development length is 6 feet in 8 inches. This distance is how much? 5.83, and the development length is 
6.66 inches so the development length is uh, greater than the available length that is 5.83 so therefore you cannot cut the bar at the dash or you can change the, the size of the bar either you can provide the hook or either you can continue the whole bars okay so because the word anchor criteria is not satisfied this distance must be equals to ld or must be greater than ld and this is 5.83 which is less than ld okay so you have three approaches either change the size of bar providing hook or either continue all the bars so what they did basically two solutions are available either extend all the bars to the end of the beam or change the bar to six number seven bars in two layers okay and one thing which i mentioned you wrong if you provide hook there it, it you know it do not work because your anchorage is there the moment the the you know the failure mechanism of this overhang beam is that you can if you can see you know therefore you cannot provide hooks there okay they 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 show you that there you can you have only two criteria because if you see that this beam will bend like this okay so if you provide hook there it has no importance no significance importance this importance of hook is for our hand beam is right at the support okay because you know the bond that the tension will be in this direction so the bond force will be in this direction clear and if you provide there hook so then bond will be in this direction if you giving hook there it has no advantage so you can at this point you have only two choices not three choices either change the bar size if you change the bar size it will decrease the development length so that makes calculation a little bit complicated you just need to continue the whole bars that is a simple criteria okay we shall do the former the final actual cut up points are shown in okay which is less than now two solutions are available either extend all the bars or either change the bars so they did the former case they extend all the bars the final locations are shown there okay this is the final location you see this dotted line they continue all the bars okay so this will be the final points l dash j dash and h dash these are the final cut points for negative reinforcement clear now they check the shear criteria check whether extra strips are required at cut ups or not okay so aci code section 12 prohibits bars cut up in a tension zone okay so these basically these four these three are basic criteria Mm -hmm. these three criteria must be satisfied we just need to check only one criteria clear mm -hmm. first criteria is this one extra strips are provided we check this criteria in Nelson book last lecture we did this example this is third criteria you are your VU should be less than or equal to 0 0.75 into P VC plus VS at cutoff point. You calculate the shear and check it with this value. If it is less, so okay. If it is not, then you cannot cut the bars. The containing, the continuing flexure reinforcement at the flexure cutoff has twice the required AS. Means the bar, the two bars give you a value of AS which is two times more than the A is required. Clear? So, because we have determined the theoretical cutoff points on the basis of the continuing reinforcement having one times the required A is one time the required A is. 
it is unlikely that you could use ACI course section this one. Even though the actual bar cutoff points were extended beyond the theoretical cutoff points further because we only need to satisfy one of the three sections no data. We will concentrate on satisfying ACI course section this, this one, this one. They just now satisfying this criteria. In previous example, we satisfying this criteria. Now we satisfy this criteria. Okay. So to satisfy this criteria, we need to calculate pi v n and pi v n is equals to pi v c plus v s. This is the shear capacity of concrete and this is the shear capacity of steels. So this is the shear capacity of concrete and this is the shear capacity of steels. Okay. You just remember, you just need to revisit your shear design. Okay. From there, you will see that V S, you know, this is a well known criteria. Mm, formula V S equals to what? Uh, sorry. Your spacing equals to A V F Y into D divided by V S. Okay. This is a well known formula in shear design. Clear. So, this formula comes out from that shear design and this is for the shear capacity of concrete. You just need to put the values 0 0.7 P2 lambda 1 3000 FC prime BW is 12 inches D is 21.5 inches effective depth AV is 0.22 that is number 3 still area FYT is 60,000 D is 21.7 same thing and S is 10 inches it is given clear so you get a value of 42.5 kips clear and if you if you take the two third of this value it will be 28.3 kips so if we you at the actual cutoff point exceeds 28.3 kips we will need to modify the design for the stirrups to increase the s and the sva okay now cut up at f dash you know in the positive tension zone okay f dash f dash is in the positive tension zone okay there is you see that this this is f dash and this e dash as well so there we don't cut up bars so we need to check shear at this point f dash we need to determine shear at this point okay and this point you know it lies a distance of uh, it lies a distance of 21 feet and 6 inches. So at 21 feet and 6 inches from shear diagram, you determine the sh actual shear. And then we will check that shear with the uh, 2 by 3rd of 5 Vn. Okay. Now, once that determine that shear, okay, this value, no, this is, this is the value, okay, from shear equation. We write at the beginning of lecture 14 this equation this is the shear equation okay we put that value 21 uh, 49 point this one and uh, 3.5 feet it is from support b okay you must know from support b that point f is lying at a distance of 3.5 a but from support a that point f lies a distance of 21.5 feet clear so basically, uh, what they did, they determined 35.6 kips. And you know, this is exceeds from 28 feet. Okay, that is interesting. Where the sign simply indicates only that uh, you don't need to focus on sign. You just need to focus on the value. Okay. We, uh, we see that this value of V U exceeds 2 by 3rd of 5 n Because 2 by 3rd of 5 n is 28. So 28 is less than this value. We need to modify the design. So we must either decrease the spacing for the number three stirrups or change to a larger stirrup. Okay, we will try number three stirrup at a rate of six instead of spacing. Okay, we need to modify the shear design. If we if we modify the shear design, our shearing capacity will be increased. Okay, you must your this value must be more than your V U value. Now you have to design in such a way that the coming value of 2 by 3rd of 5 Vn will be more than this value. So we cannot increase the sharing capacity of concrete. We will increase this value. 
and how we will increase increasing this vs and how we will increasing this vs we just only need to modify a b just changing from number three to number four so a b will be increased i just only change the spacing of stirrups we assume 10 inches so here we will use six inches so if we use six inches our v s will, will now comes out to be 47.3 if we putting the values you will get 37.8 caps so now it is more than 35 so just now you need to provide stirrups at a distance of 6 inch to the center not at a distance of 10 inch to the center clear so this is the final design okay this is the final design and uh, you know uh, yes uh, these stirrups you know these extra stirrups these extra strips should be provided in the region of F. Okay, in F region. Okay. So this is the design. You can see. This is the final design. Okay. If I this is the final design. Okay. No cutoff point at E dash. I already told you. Because the development length criteria is not fulfilled here. So they continue all the four bars and here criteria at a, a dash criteria are met so they cut to number nine bars to number eight bars at that the distance of 3.5 inches foot okay three feet and six inches from the fair from the center of the support now uh, this this is the j dash point actual j dash point and it must be cut up at a distance of 8 feet 6 inches we drive this okay and you don't need to cut any bars toward this side because the development length criteria here Kadesh now Kadesh is removed right Kadesh is removed because the development criteria is not increased criteria is not fulfilled so they continue all the bars okay and similarly this is the H dash point yeah this is the H dash point okay and extend all the bars for a distance of six inch into the support no hooks there okay because developmental criteria is fulfilled this is the point cut off points now comes to the shear criteria so you need from from the center of the bars to this distance okay to this distance you need to provide okay number three stirrup at the right of 10 inch center to center okay either to this side as well you know the, the the this is the next point g dash yeah this is the g dash point cut up point okay which which is from the center of the point to this side is at a distance of one feet and six inches you need to provide number three strip at right of 10 inches center to center okay now this f dash is the critical zone because this this cut up point f dash lies in a positive or tension uh, tension uh, zone okay this cut up point so whenever you are uh, discontinuing your bars in a tension zone you must need to satisfy your share criteria so as the share criteria is not satisfied for that purpose we change you know the stereo spacing so now from this point f dash you need to provide strips with some lower spacing and that will be six inches center to center so starts from three foot six inches place stirrups at a rate of six inches center to center for a distance of five feet six inches so how much distance uh, subtract three feet six inches from five feet six inches i think so it is comes out to be uh, no you have to provide they provide the stirrups throughout this distance okay throughout this distance in this region for a distance of okay for a distance of five feet six inches this value exceeds vu where is the calculation this one you know now basically at the last we change the spacing of stirrups now for how much distance we will keep that uh, stirrups okay so here they say this value exceeds VU, so modified strip design is okay. This tighter 
tighter spacing should start at the cut-up points okay now almost it is not carried out these these spacers uh, are stirrups are not starting from this point it is usually provides from the cut-up point okay and towards the positive maximum uh, tension positive movement okay towards that side okay you must know this is you know if you draw the movement diagram which is somewhat like this in this shape so as this is the cut-up point okay so you start stirrups from this cut-up points towards the maximum positive movement okay you will place the stirrups at a rate of 10 inch 6 inch but they start the stirrup from this point okay you can do it okay so they say there this tighter spacing should start at the cut-up point and extend at least a distance of D toward the maximum positive movement region. I already mentioned you. For simplicity, use a 6 inch stirrup spacing from the center of the support B for a distance of 5 feet 6 inch toward mid span of span A. So they basically did for, for the sake of simplicity. You know? For the sake of simplicity, they basically did that. Uh, that you must need to continue spacing from B with a six inch center to center, uh, at for a distance of B. You know, cut up. Uh, the distance from the cut up point should be equals to D distance. This 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 distance must be equals to D distance. Clear. So you will extend from the cut-up point at least equals to T distance. Clear? That comes out to be 5.5 5 in uh, foot. Okay. Now, as Jadesh is also, you know, intention zone. Okay. Jadesh is also intention zone. You must remember this Jadesh point. Basically, if you come here and see that this is the tension zone positive tension zone so you must need to check it for shear criteria okay cut up jadesh the cut up is located at 8 feet 6 inch from b the flexural tension that occurs in these bars is due to load case 2 mm -hmm. load case 2 by inspection view at jadesh is considerably less than 2 third okay so 28.3 kips therefore no extra steps are required at this cutoff the final reinforcement detail are shown in figure 834 for non-standard beams such as this one a detail of this sort should shown in the contract drawings this is a very important okay this is a very important point they mentioned okay uh this is you know this is a kind of beam which is you know which is uh, which is used unusually inside okay almost there is continuous beams okay so if such kind of beams occur a designer must this is this is his prime responsibility that he must show this whole detail for in the drawing and he must need to show that uh, modification in their contract drawings okay uh, the calculation just carried out are tedious and if the underlying concepts are not understood the detailing provisions are difficult to apply several things can be done to simplify these calculations one is to extend all of the bars past their respective points of inflection so that no bars are cut up in zones of flexion tension this reduces the number of cut-ups required and eliminates the need for extra steel absorption on one hand while requiring more flexure reinforcement on the other a second method is to work out the flexure cut up points graphically this approach is discussed in the next section okay so this is a kind of calculation which we carried out this this is a very lengthy calculation you know and very tedious calculation so they're saying that almost there is no cut up points provided in a tension zone okay they continue all the beam, uh, all the bars okay to make the calculation more simple clear so this is the example we did almost all calculations okay 
and uh, no this is the graphical method clear this is the graphical method i trying my best inshallah to explain this topic as well very uh, quickly okay so there we will use inshallah graphs and through graphs we will determine okay the um, bar points okay cut up bar points but there are some kind of you know uh, splices details so left detailing so i try my business inshallah to code this uh, this example as well for the for your uh, for your sake of your understanding okay to to show you that how graphs are used and how continuous bar beams are handled okay this this is you show this is continuous beam okay so how we did these calculations and but and inshallah at this example we will end this chapter so i think it is a very tedious calculation and uh, you know it is a very uh, very complicated calculation okay so basically most of and this is the prime responsibility of all designers that uh, cut up points uh, left distances are splices it should be shown in drawings okay this is the responsibility of the uh, designer it is not the responsibility of labels that they will provide the bar cut ups okay so this is the responsibility of designer okay so inshallah at this topic uh, i try my best that i will discuss you a little bit about this topic that what is splices and what is tension splices and what is compression splices and inshallah then we we'll come to this example okay so for this time uh, up to this topic if you have any question any doubts you may ask okay so thank you